Are you ready? Arrowwell's specialty change came out last week, or two, in the nick of time, along with Lua's banner, so we wanted to do a video featuring both of them. Alright, alright, that's getting old, sorry. It's just an Arrowwell video. As always, it's on our 3 star only account and we're in champion rank. Let's get into it. While trying to figure out where we can fit Arrowwell into a team, we first tried using her similarly to the role that Doris plays in Arena, as Dark Bait. However, we quickly learned that Doris is best girl and cannot be replaced. Arrowwell takes way too much damage to survive those long, drawn out battles that Doris can, because her passive is constantly damaging her. We needed to stop trying to plug her into teams that already work and Ow. consider what holes she might be able to fill for us with a team built around her. Full Cleave was another one of those comps that we avoided while climbing in champion rank, because when you compare the base speed of C. Wow. Lilius or Ron Whoa. to Ruzid or Judith, Ooh. yeah, you can do the math on who's gonna outspeed. It's also hard to tank them and still have damage to win. Enter Arrowwell. We're running Arrowwell on a tanky speed set with high effect resistance and leftover health pieces. Because we're running her in a slow team that intends to tank the first round of a cleave team, we need to get her ER as close to 200 as we can, while still keeping her tanky enough to hopefully survive all the damage she's going to be absorbing. Thankfully, she's wearing very protective armor. Focus. We pair her with two tanky cleansing healers who are also close to 200 effect resistance as well. Finally, we dug out our carrot and round the team off with her on a degenerate, slow, and tanky build. Cleave defenses don't often have the opportunity to bring a healer, so it doesn't take long for carrot to burn them to death with her passive burns, and her active ones too. So this is the type of team we found that Arrowell does very well for us in. Because she has built-in Aureus on her passive, and she can hold Adamant Shield because of it, it allows us to bring a single unit that greatly increases the effective bulk of our team. A cleave team might be able to kill our Arrowell, but it's very likely the other three are going to be left alive, and after the first round of attacks, they don't have enough to kill them. This match is pretty fun because we get to take literally everything to the face here, including a double defense break and double stun on our high effect resistance units. The usual Epic 7 experience. We like to have Arrowell faster than our other characters so she can strip stun someone if needed, before Carrot gets a turn. We still have Idols cheer on doors for these matches, but I don't actually like it in this comp, so we'll probably switch it out next time for something like Potion Vial or Doctor's Bag for additional turn 2 recovery options. Momo is carrying Shimadra, as always, to get us to the ER we need to be at a comfortable level. Their burn damage is pretty brutal against these squishy cleave teams, even from a carrot so heavily invested in her tanky stats. Once you survive the initial blast, it really doesn't matter if you lose Arrowell after that, because she's already done her job. We call this new power couple, Carowell. Don't ever ignore the power of someone who has something to protect. I'll show you some results. Yeah. Let me take your pain away. Just kidding. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, I suggest checking out these similar ones here.